Okay, it seems that uh, quite a few of you are still a little confused about the difference between rules, CSS rules, and HTML tags. I'm going to go into great detail on this. Once you understand this, it will make the whole website creation development process simple, simple, simple. So let's get started. Under File Menu, File New, New File Command N. Okay, now I talked about this in a previous video, but I set my default doc to HTML5. It's still not the standard, and it won't be for probably another five years, who knows. But I didn't want to create HTML5 documents because they're cross platform for mobile devices. Now, how I do this is make this default by going to preferences, preferences. Should, let's create this for let's cancel this first my mistake on that okay so I'm going to go to preferences and under <clears throat> under new document here I set this to html5 it defaults to this we're going to change it to this therefore anytime you make a document it's going to default to an html5 document now since we're here by the way I want to talk about font sizes. Font sizes mainly inside your code view. Now, if you look at most of my videos, I kind of stay away from the code because Dreamweaver is a simple program to make your life simple without going to the code. Okay, so I'm going to change my code size to 14 pixels. Therefore, when I go to code mode, it'll make it bigger for those of you that are over 30 and need eyeglasses. So that's just a little quick tip. So again, file new, new file, HTML5 here, and hit OK. Now, we should probably set up a site. We haven't set up a site for this. So the first thing you want to do, and this is for setting up a domain name site from scratch for the first time. We're not going to talk about FTP right now, but I just wanted to find where the site is kept. So a simple process for this is to simply go to site, new site. Okay, let's just put in name the site. Now, I already have a site defined on my desktop, so I just want to show you where it's located. So if I go to my desktop, you'll see that I have a folder called Websites. In my website folder, I have a folder with my domain name, the client's domain name, your domain name. Windows setup is the same way, it's just visually different. So inside of this folder I have my images folder that's all I have right now is inside this folder inside my desktop so you could have many folders inside this folder for different clients you could have to aim one to aim two etc 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 so let's go back to Dreamweaver okay so first what we did here is if you navigate your way to where the site is kept so I'm gonna to go to websites and that's my domain name I'm going to tell Dreamweaver that's going to be my default folder for this particular website. So I choose that. Okay. My name. Now, if I want to be totally clever here, I can just copy that. So I can paste that right there. That way, there's no typos. Okay. So, name of the site, my domain name. Now, notice I didn't put the .com. This is for internal use only. So, Dreamweaver understands the name, that domain name. I save that. Okay. Next thing you want to do is save the file. File save. Command S, Control S. Now, let's say that you're someplace else in your computer. Because we define the site very simply, 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 we can click here to site root. That's going to take us right to our new site. This is my new site. This is not my site. This is not my site. This is my site root. I define this as my site root. So by clicking right here, goes to my site root. So we're going to simply call this index version one. Now the home page for your site should be up on the server saying under development coming soon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a version page, V for version, version one, version one B, version one C, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then we want to title the document. The title of the document comes up in a search engine. So what I typically do, I put name of the site.com, and I typically put the pipe symbol, which is the up and down arrow key next to the right left bracket, three keys to the right of the P key. So I'm going to say, 
up and down pipe symbol. And let's say we're in the wholesale coffee business. I would put wholesale. Let's say we offer free shipping. In fact, let's say we offer free FedEx shipping. Again, this is going to come up with a search engine. Always title the page. Next, so we save the file and we title the page. Okay, now, so your software works exactly the same way here as it does at home. I just want to talk about a few things here, okay? I'm working with classic mode. Now, if you go to classic by default, and I set classic, if you go to classic, reset, you're going to have all these palettes over here. Most of them we don't need at this point. In fact, most of them I don't even use. I build six-figure websites, not touch any palette, but the database palette, the CSS palette, and the files palette. So we're going to take CSS styles, drag it out. We're going to take our files panel, drag out everything else here. We could simply close. It's going to be confusing, and it's not necessary at this point. In fact, we don't technically need the files. Now, once you expand your files menu, if you click this icon here, here's your local files, here's your remote files. Now, again, we didn't set up an FTP. That's another subject. You can close the window by hitting Command and Shift F for files. Control Shift F for windows, so it's a toggle. Command F shows, Command F hides. Now, let's talk in great detail the difference between HTML tags versus CSS rules. Okay, I'm going to make this a header tag. And one is a header tag, so you can see this better. Okay, so let's understand something. Over here in the styles palette, go rules. They're not called settings. They're not called this. They're not called that. They're not called widgets. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that confuse the holy hell out of you. I just want to keep this so simple. It's frighteningly simple. Why is it called rules? Because that's what the software calls it. If I come down here and says, New CSS rule, exact vocabulary. My objective is to get you to think the way the software thinks. I'm not going to throw semantics at you. I'm not going to say, oh, you come over here to the settings, because right there you're stuck. Where does it say the word setting? It doesn't. CSS rules. Okay, rules and tags. So let's basically put some content on the page, and we'll continue in our next video.